One of the questions I get asked most is about having a brush stroke free finish. So I've already done a video here on our YouTube channel that's using our chalk synthesis paint, but I also know that, you know, the big phenom around the world right now is our one hour enamel. Everybody's talking about it, everybody's using it, and we're about to have a whole lot more colors coming. So I thought I should probably do something with brushing it on, because if you're like me, it's just me in a brush, I don't spray and I don't usually roll if I'm doing furniture. So I wanted to show just how easy it can be to brush on one hour enamel. Well, I already have a video that's on our YouTube channel right now for a hammered aged metallic finish that within that finish, I used our one hour enamel and brushed it on. And when I did that little segment, I was very step-by-step -step oriented to show exactly how I did it. So I decided I'd pull that out and make it its own video, just that one step just in case you happen to miss it and really wanted to put emphasis on using your Klingon brush to paint on our one-hour enamel and how easy it can be and how beautiful, absolutely beautiful it will look if you just know how to do it right. And as I say all the time, it's knowledge, it's not talent. I'm telling you, if you know what you're doing and you can follow those steps, that's why we're doing these videos, anybody can make some beautiful furniture with our paints. So if that's something you're looking forward to, stay tuned today on Wise Out Paint Party. So this is their one hour enamel. It's basically you paint it on and you're done. It has, it dries super hard. It's something a lot of people use for kitchen cabinets and different kind of things like that. But I found applications for furniture and there's quite a few of them. And this just happens to be one of them. So I'm gonna paint this on. It's a, a jet black and you'll see it's really, really black. So if you painted furniture and you're trying to find a really deep black, Wiseall has them, whether it's a chalk synthesis or their um, one hour enamel, they're very, very black. So I'm going to get some on here and walk through painting this on because it is a little bit different. So if you're new to their one hour enamel, I want to talk this through a little bit. So it dries fast. So you're going to want to get it on and it's a little thinner. Let me show you. So it's a little thinner and dries faster. So for this video, I'm only going to do the top of this piece, but I'll show the whole piece when I'm done and we're gonna just brush it on. Now, knowing we're gonna go over top of this with layers of other stuff, you don't need to be really too terribly specific about the brush strokes and all that kind of stuff. Ultimately, what we're just trying to do is get a good base layer of black. So whatever does peek through our metallic is gonna be black. So we're just gonna get this on. Now, this dries incredibly fast faster than a chalk style paint. And you're gonna wanna get it on, just like I do a lot of them, get it all on and then brush it out how you want and then walk away and not mess with it. It's just like pretty much all of Wiseau's paints and varnishes and all that stuff, it self levels really well. So you're gonna want to get it on and then just feather it out. And because it is a one hour enamel in an hour from now, I'm going to be able to come back and do my second coat, which obviously you're going to need to do because a little bit of the gray is peeking through, which I do not want. I want only black to show through my metallic when I'm done with this. So I'm going to get this on. I'm just going to nice and gently feather it out. And then I'm going to walk away. And this stuff really self levels like crazy. So you're going to think, oh man, look at all the brush strokes in it. And you're going to come back and it's going to be flat and glassy beautifulness. This dries with more of an eggshell finish because it does have that built-in top coat. So it's kind of a unique finish to it as well. And then don't shake your can because this stuff dries so fast, you'll leave bubbles in it and your bubbles will dry as bubbles in your paint when it dries, which you, if you're using this and this only, you definitely don't want. So. You see how glassy beautiful that is? All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna sneak around this side, paint this up real quick. 
and then I'm gonna leave it alone. And then I will come back for coat number two, just so I can show you guys what coat number two looks like going on and how, how it cleared up and how it dried. And I'll probably try to do this within an hour or two so I can show you what it looks like within an hour. But this is gonna be our base coat for this particular hammered metallic finish. When we do the reverse or subtract the stippling, this is what's going to peek through this nice, beautiful, deep jet black color. And that's it for now. Well, and as you can see, I mean, look at how amazing this is. Like, incredible, right? Because you saw me put it on. I put it on. I walked away and I let gravity do its work and boy, did it ever. It flattened beautifully. And you're gonna see the spots because I did one coat. I did one even just nice coat and there were spots where it didn't cover completely just because I put it on and I walked away. I didn't want to keep messing with it to get it on there because if you do, then you might leave brush strokes because this stuff dries fast. But I didn't do that. I decided, nope, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna come back and finish these spots that I missed or didn't get enough of on my second coat and that's exactly what you want to do because you do not want to keep going over it and over it and over because it will dry while you're doing that and you will leave brush strokes and then you'll be stuck with having to sand in between coats and as you can see i'm not gonna have to do anything i mean look at how beautiful that is it's beautifully just flat and perfect and wonderful i mean really honestly if you're looking for a one color finish with a paint where you don't have to do anything else that one hour enamel is the way to go and we're gonna do our second coat. And again, we're gonna get it on quick. And we're gonna like feather it out and we're gonna walk away. And this time I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get the entire coat coverage so I don't have to come back a third time. But I think just because I was doing the video, I didn't pay attention as well to that side. And you can see where that side got neglected a little bit because this side looks fine over here. So again, we're gonna get it on really quick. And if I didn't mention the other video, do not shake this stuff. Make sure you stir it because you don't want any bubbles to pop up and the bubbles then transfer onto what you're painting and then in turn dry and then you have bubbles drying in there. So you wanna make sure you stir it and not shake it. So it can, I'm, I'm hurrying because this dry, stuff dries really fast. So I'm gonna get it on, make sure I get these spots on this before. So I'm gonna get it on there and then I'm gonna feather it out. It's okay, now I got it on, I'm just gonna feather it out just like this. And you wanna get, like I said in the first video, you wanna get a good generous amount, feather it out really good. And then walk away. Do not overwork this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna walk around. Now I'm gonna get that complete coverage. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna touch it again. And also, because this isn't my main coat, it's gonna be underneath the gold. If I did miss a spot here or there, I'm not as worried about it, but I just wanted to show you a little bit into the one hour enamel because I was doing it, just to how you paint it on, you walk away and you let it settle and it will settle beautifully. And there you have it. It's just that easy to brush on with a brush stroke free finish with our one hour enamel. Just need some one hour enamel, cling on brush. Both of those you can find at your local retailer near you. I'll have a link down below to tell you how to find that. And of course, this is a, a small excerpt from our hammered age metallic finish that walks through the steps on how to accomplish that. I'll link that or tag it so you can check that out as well. But for now, just wanted to get this out there. I know a lot of folks are really interested in brushing on one hour enamel, whether it's cabinets or furniture. I know a lot of folks are starting to use it with furniture and so many more colors are coming. So I'm excited to see what everybody's going to do with it. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you hit that subscribe button, that like button and share if you know anybody else that might be interested in it. And everyone have a blessed day. And as always, happy painting.